Hawthorne's Birthplace by William James Rowe Hawthorne was born in a modest wooden house on a secluded street at Salem, Massachusetts. He was a chronicler of the Romans of his town and of a time in its history long antedating his own of Salem, the city of witchcraft and witches, of rocking fanaticism and Puritan dilibrary. Of ghastly menia that, worse than plague or pestilence, ran its evil course towards fatal Gallows Hill. Chronicler also of two or more modern, better periods of a blessed port, the seashore, and the seafaring man whose occupations has in the main slipped away. Hawthorne was one of those men of letters, perhaps most distinguished of them all, who, crossing the Atlantic, laid down their charming works for the entertainment and, truth to tell, no little astonishment of our kin across the sea. Hawthorne dignified American literature. He was one of those pioneers who civilized the wilderness of a commonplace in our fiction. Apart from his fame as an author, beyond even the renown of his Scarlet Letter and House of the Seven Gablets, above applauds of the public for his public works, I hold Hawthorne's private request to posterity to have been more largely meritorious. Surely his must have been a noble, as well as highly gifted character, which was so fitly framed as to leave hostages to memory and his honored children. Who will not understand all the mean that has seen the lovely, if low, ministrations of his daughter among the poor, oppressed with the most horrible of afflictions of her body, the poor of the awful east side of the city of New York? Who will not honor the father for the work of Rose Hawthorne Lefrop? 